this is a sad sad day for competitive programmers and competitive programmers from india because google is shutting down all of their competitive programming contests and in this video we'll take a look at you know one of the pot potential reasons why google is doing it point number 1 we'll look at the consequences of this and point number 3 we'll also look at some of the key takeaways like what you should do next let's get started So here you can see an official statement by Google it's saying that after nearly 20 years uh, of Google Code Jam they are discontinuing this program and also the kickstart program that they had and other uh, coding competitions they had they are not doing it anymore and uh, some of the reasons for this let's talk about it that obviously these are unofficial reasons we see that Google is also doing a lot of layoffs right so uh you know maybe it's because of let's say cost cutting a little bit as well and one of the main reasons let's say if i was running these programs then one of the re main reasons also can be that for the past around 9 years only one person is winning this contest which is tourist so it's like the number one compi programming uh, compi programmer of this world and one more thing that you may have noticed is that google also shut down google um, code in which was a university level program because now google also made an official statement for shutting down these programs because google wants to focus more on open source programs so that's why they are focusing more on google summer of code so for anyone who wants to get into google or whatever this in itself is proof that google itself is saying okay compare programming is not mandatory do open source instead so google is actually watching my youtube channel i think that's what's happening but all jokes aside let's talk about point number 2 of this video which is what are the consequences so something is like uh, one of the things that will definitely happen that i want to mention in this video is that the compute programming hype is going to be completely wiped away from india there is no compute programming hype in any other country apart from india because we tend to create hype of things we can't achieve you know things that are achievable you know it's like regular stuff for other people if for example the greatest grand masters of compute programming that you will find in india are still 10 times less smart as compared to high schoolers of other countries like us china or russia they are on the different league it's just a fact and it's a very sad fact because the, there is no culture first of all of computer programming in india there's only hype we forget about like if we talk about google code jam for example in the history you will never see anyone from india forget about winning just even coming in the finals or semi finals never happened that someone from india was even in the finals so i believe that uh, the cp hype will now die out because people only do it to clear coding rounds and which is not required because if we talk about microsoft or amazon or whatever these companies are just go google previous year questions these are literally lead code easy to medium questions and that's all that is required to clear these interviews but the very bad thing that happens in india is people get some nice ranks in these in these contests and then they start selling their courses and misguiding people and all these other things so you cannot name a one person from india whom you can be like oh this guy you know this person can be my mentor for compare programming there are zero people right so not a single person you will find who can be like okay this person is like you know really good and has achieved so much in compare programming from india let's make them our mentor and take you know inspiration for them not a single person because we have repetitively failed at every single contest on a global level at every single contest on a global level so the consequence of this thing is going to be now there's even more validation for students like okay compute programming is not required because obviously first of all google is in itself closing it and uh, now also confirmed by google not really required for jobs i have traveled around the world i have visited google new york office google london office i talked to people around the world um no one is doing computer programming just lead code is more than enough don't worry about that so point number 3 is last point key take away what do we do about it what do we do with this information so point number 1 for india specific students and communities is that nothing in india will change because we were failing at computer programming before so stopping these contests would not matter that much i was going to make a little joke i was going to say that before i knew that competition like this would keep going so i was going to say that i will give away my youtube channel it was an open challenge to everyone in india that i will give away my youtube channel if any one person from india can even come in the final of google code jam 
that was a little joke i was going to play because obviously it will never happen um because the people outside india who are taking part in compi plumbing contest they are not doing it to clear fang and that is the reason they are succeeding and they are 100 times more smarter than indian compi plumbers so in india nothing will change we were failing before we will keep failing because we are not doing it for the passion it is we are doing it for clearing coding interviews that is why we will keep failing uh if we talk about fields in which india is succeeding that is open source so many nice open source contributions that come from india again these are not my personal views these are just the facts okay we are not winning so we are not winning it's not my personal view it's just the fact okay um uh, so key takeaway in india nothing will change um if you see some of the things that people used to boast about it was google kickstart and getting ranks in google kickstart the reason is because kickstart was a student level competition so that was the level of the grandmasters from india that they could only compete in the student level events of globally like whatever right so you were able to secure a rank on kickstart because people like tourists did not take part if people like tourists take part you stood no chance right so now even that's out so again to sum up in india nothing will change uh, people will keep making their courses or whatever they find another other 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 way but you can stay safe from it if you always ask the question why but this is a really good step towards uh completely killing the compi plumbing hype for clearing coding interviews because that hype is only in india it's not in any other country okay especially in the united states or europe or whatever no one does compi plumbing to clear coding interviews no one does it it's only in india the hype because people are easily misguided and people who themselves have achieved nothing they are able to create this hype because students are naive and they listen anything key takeaway number 2 if you do want to make a career in compi plumbing i would not recommend following anyone from india because we have failed again and again and again instead i would recommend following people who have actually won compi plumbing contests like erikto tourist they all have their youtube channel they do they do live streams they have their own blogs and stuff so i'd recommend follow these people and if you want to make your name or in compi plumbing and you know do something for your country let's say india or whatever um then do it as a sport not as like a way to clear coding interviews because for coding interviews just lead code is enough and uh, that's point number 2 for key takeaway that uh, you know if you want to make a name in compi plumbing then um, follow people outside india like eric to or tourist or william lin is nice he was a, he started in high school he's very 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 smart guy all right point number 3 in key takeaway is if you thought that okay we are just doing it to get a nice job then don't do compi plumbing not really not really required completely waste of time um if you're doing it to clear interviews or if you want a good job instead i would say do open source it will open so many doors of opportunities for you i get so many dms every day like i got selected in this remote work internship or whatever and this is just the sad reality the this famous compare promise from india or whatever whenever a new startup comes or something new you you see it yourself okay some new edtech startup will come they will launch their dsa course and their mentors would be compare promise who just have a few stars and that's it 10 years 20 years 30 years of their career will go by and they will be still teaching data structured algorithms and edtech startups that's not engineer okay that's why i say don't take guidance from compare promise from india because they are not real engineers they are just teaching dsa for their entire career 10 20 years that's it they will not do anything else that's it that they will do and the reason is because i'm trying to help you save your money okay these are not real engineers that you can take guidance from real engineers you will find in open source you know communities people who are building stuff people who are startup founders of like you know nice tech companies and have lots of experience in that don't follow some random bhaiya who is just doing dsa and just teaching at some tech startups and whatever you know the biggest tech startups in india the biggest billion dollar companies you all know the biggest tech startups in india right so many ads in you know you know what i'm talking about so many ads in like uh, youtube series or whatever you know you get so many ads uh, they reach out to me every week i have emails right now they reach out to me every week and i'm like okay yeah fine i'm i'm happy to teach dsa at your startup but i can do it for an upfront fee and because i'm not really into paid courses or whatever i charge them i ask them like i'll do it for 1 million dollars or something and they think i'm kidding i'm not kidding i i'm happy to do it for you <laughs> if you give me 1 or 2 million dollars 
but they say that we do revenue sharing models or whatever and i'm like i don't want to do revenue revenue sharing models but all the major influencers in dsa from india you will see they are working at these tech startups for revenue sharing models or whatever i'm not that guy i don't want to do i i can't do it and i deliberately ask them million dollars to million dollars because i know they won't give it to me um and if they do it's good million dollars is a lot of money i'm happy to make courses for you if you give me a million dollars um but that's what i'm trying to say all these influencers or whatever their only bubble is dsa and five star rankings in computer programming contest that's it not real engineering i'd recommend get involved in open source it will open a lot of opportunities for you by getting involved in such you know things without any questions or proof you're only increasing their bank balance nothing is happening to you okay so i'd recommend uh, follow people from you know global communities mostly in open source um try to follow less popular people this includes me as well don't follow me uh, because i'm very busy and you know when you send me a dm on twitter i'm not able to reply to it so and one more thing i'm i'm like relatively very new to my career right um I'm, i was just a student last year so so many things i still have to learn um i'm i'm doing very very well like for my age but still i am very inexperienced i have so many things to learn and i keep learning every day from so many other people um so that's what i would recommend you you think kunal is great or kunal is this or that that's not really true i'm i'm just a kid right um still learning so don't follow me um just whatever technical tutorials i do and i do a lot of podcasts with more experienced people than me so you can follow those people right um so that's what i would recommend uh, the 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 amount of help that you can get from non famous people on global communities and stuff you can't get that much amount of inspiration and help from influencers like us including me so that's what i would recommend as a closing remark thanks a lot for watching and that this, this is the end of the computer programming hype in few years it will completely be uh removed from our country um really happy for it because it's, it was a total waste of time and um um hopefully i hope someone from india would be uh able to represent our country on a global scale one day hopefully right now i don't think that's the case with the current talent that we have in this country thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next one be safe have a great day and good luck with your job hunt if you have any questions leave those in the comment section below and i'll be doing my best to answer those but yeah keep the good work and uh, see you in the next one have a good day